West Virginia is contemplating getting rid of the state income tax. It might be time to consider moving to West Virginia in retirement, my friends. Check this out, my man. Uh, someone has sent this to me. I forgot uh, my other channel, Josh Scanlon, Heritage, not Heritage Wealth Planning, Josh Scanlon. And uh, I've always liked West Virginia. Man, I remember going out there through Franklin, up through Moorestown, a Sugar Grove where they had a communications Navy base there. Man, it's just, it's freaking fantastic, man. I love West Virginia. It's great. It's, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you a story. I used to do seminars at like VFW Halls, American Legions in Morristown, Franklin, a couple other places on east, uh, the eastern side of West Virginia. And you go up 33, and I, I just, man, so you go up, what happens? You go up 33, hit uh, Monterey, Virginia, up the mountains there, Page County, I think. And then you just scoot on over to West Virginia. And it's just freaking, I mean, it's just insanely gorgeous. Insanely gorgeous. And quite poor, too. Uh, one of our good friends, uh, the woman who uh, watched my Ma Maddie when she was just a young whippersnapper, her mom lived in Franklin, owned some land up there. And uh, and I just, just freaking great people. I love it. West Virginia is the most MAGA state in the union, by the way. I know Oklahoma, every county in Oklahoma voted for Trumpster, but West Virginia is the most MAGA state in the union. The irony of it all is, if you look at West Virginia, you've got like Point of Rocks, Maryland, uh, the northern part of, of Virginia right there in West Virginia where Harpers Ferry is. Um, then you got over to Charlestown. So you, I mean, this is just a hop and a skip from D.C., man. It's like, what, 60 minutes away? I know, I don't think that. 30 miles away, some of that from D.C. So up there in the northern part of West Virginia, Charlestown, not Charlestown, uh, uh, Harpers Ferry. Yeah, I guess it would be Charlestown. Or Char yeah, Charlestown. Charlestown? I think so. It's where the casinos are. Uh, that's just a hop and a skip from D.C., which is interesting because that some of the swamp would you think start going over to West Virginia as Virginia gets even more and more um, populated. But at the end of the day, West Virginia has this. Uh, it's kind of like if you're in Massachusetts, I don't know, living in Maine because you means you know down dirty white trash. If you're in Massachusetts, and the same thing could be said, I'm sure of people in the D.C. area looking at West Virginia. But I'm telling you, man, it's freaking gorgeous. So one time I was doing a seminar. Josh, would you get to the point, dude? I just, I no, I can't. It's and it's not my nature to get to the point. Um, I was doing a seminar up in uh, some some VFW American Legion Hall or something like that in West Virginia, and um. <laughs> And I figured I'd take a, a back road back because it's, I don't know, October or something like that. Just beautiful fall. It's just fa fantastic. And uh, long story short, uh, the GPS wouldn't work. And I, was, and I was running low on gas. And I said, well, all right, we'll find some gas. And then, you know, the the uh, the sun went down. And I don't know where I am. We got no GPS. And I just, so I went and saw a client in Monterey, West Virginia. Came over to do a seminar. That's what it was. And I said, I'm going to take some back road back. And uh, and long story short, that it got dark on me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm driving around the mountains of West Virginia. I have no idea where I'm at. The haulers and whatnot. I'm like, dude, holy crap. I'm going to be in a Steve, Steve Earl video here at Copperhead Road at some point. I'm like, uh, and I'm running out of gas. It's like, at this point, it's like 11 o'clock at night. My cell phone, I had no coverage. I was like, oh my goodness. You know, I said, I'm <laughs> It was it was in October. I'm sure it was October. I remember it started getting cold. I was like, Ugh. It started getting a little bit flurries too, if memory serves. Woo, that was scary. Uh, I was able to make it finally home, but I was like, man, what's going to happen here, man? Am I going to get stuck on the side of the road and some guy's going to take a pot shot at me? Because it was hunting season too, if I remember it serves. And I just, I, I can't, I don't remember the whole story. I just remember thinking I get stuck on the side of the road, some mountain in West Virginia. No one's driving by. I got no heat. I was like, oh, you know, I just in my, my monkey suit, scary as can be. I made it home. But anyway, I love West Virginia. Lots of clients up there. It's fantastic. Um, and it's, a, uh, it's, it's just a fantastic state. But it hasn't been on the radar for many people because it's poor. You know, it's uh, as poor as West Virginia, right? And everyone's like, oh, my goodness. Um, by the way, the uh, the episode of um, whatever that guy's name, uh, you know, they play this, the dueling banjos with one guy. Drop your your drowsers boy you know that that's in Dahlonega Georgia um whatever that movie was called from like 1970s or something like that where squeal like a pig that's not West Virginia that's Georgia that's Dahlonega just right where the ranger training center is by the way so just don't I don't think that uh, West Virginia that's not West Virginia that's Georgia just wanted to point out all right so let's go here West Virginia lawmakers considering ending income tax well, the West Virginia legislative session approaching, some Republican lawmakers have expressed interest in pro proposing bills to fully eliminate the state income tax. 
Jumpin' Jim Justice, who used to be a Democrat if memory serves, but he switched, uh, has expressed an interest in his plan to join the nine other states without an income tax. After Republicans made big gains in the state legislature in 2020. Huh, wonder why? Because the MAGA baby, the MAGA train. Do you think your stupid impeachment is going to get rid of the MAGA train? No, it ain't happening. So we got a MAGA train in West Virginia, a MAGA train in New Hampshire, a MAGA train in Montana, all kinds of uh, Republicans, won all kinds of places that are off the, off the map of the, uh, the mainstream elite. The House of Delegates has a two, three to one Republican majority and 23 to 11 uh, Republican majority, which if you would have said that 20 years ago, you would have got shot. People said, no way, no way, which will make it more difficult than ever for Democrats to halt Republican legislative goals. Legislation to repeal the income tax is yet to be introduced, but many expect all plans to include tax hikes elsewhere to make up for lost revenue. Neither Democratic nor Republican lawmakers in either chamber respond to requests. Uh, we got uh, Jessica Dobrinsky, a policy development association at the free market Cardinal Institute for West Virginia Policy, told this, uh, this media outlet that raising other tax revenues would make up for lost revenue, but the elimination of the state income tax should not simply be a shift in taxation, which would be a missed point of tax reform. Instead, it be, should incentivize the government to practice conservative fiscal spending. Right? West Virginia has lost about 50,000 residents in the last decade, which is at the bottom of the ranking uh, for taxation. From education to the business climate, she said the state is trailing its neighbors, uh, Tennessee, uh, hell, Pennsylvania, Virginia, uh, and marginal changes will not lead to transformative states that West, uh, results that West Virginia needs. Um, and some people are saying, oh, they're going to become like the, uh, I want to say, become like Kansas. You can't rate lower taxes. Don't you know anything about Kansas? That's what this guy in Forbes says, Patrick Gleason, which I completely agree with, uh, because West Virginia, uh, critics of Governor Justice's proposal have resorted to old taxes, tactics, such as trying to portray every proposed tax cut as Kansas. Uh, every tax cut is Kansas, is the argument that the libs make. Uh, there is a lesson for less uh, for lawmakers in West Virginia and other states from Kansas' experiences with tax reform. The Kansas state legislature cut taxes while simultaneously increasing spending, explains this lady we just talked about from the Cardinal Institute. Kansas continued to take part in record-baking spending that eventually led to reimplementation of the income taxes continued to grow and stifle business. What these lobbyists for the tax and spend approach the government often forget is a significant uptake in state uptake in state spending was a major driver of budget problems in Kansas. Yeah, and uh, that's uh, with the guy with Alec. Yeah, right on. I remember when Obama was in there, they hated Alec. It's crazy. Now they hate everybody else too. They hate everybody. Uh, the Kansas tax reform, reform that was implemented was much larger than was initially proposed. It was a long story short. The tax code was ultimately enacted. Uh, was a result of the of a governor uh, having a call bluff gone bad, resulting in a much larger tax cut than they wanted or were able to budget for. Governor Justice is proposing a, uh, a phased-in approach to the income tax elimination. In addition to tying the governor to an inaccurate portrayal of what happened in Kansas, critics of Governor Justice's proposal also resorting to arguments that aren't supported by facts. Low-income tax states are not necessarily low-tax states, says a lib. Yet anyone can verify that the nine states that do not levy an income tax has an average tax burden that is markedly below the rest of the states. The average state and local tax burden for all 50 states is 10.4%, but it's only less than 9% for those nine states with no income tax. Uh, opponents of tax of an income tax reduction uh, argue, let's see, that a no income tax states tend to have a higher sales and property tax. Yeah, well, uh, the nice thing about West Virginia is the property is quite low, so your property tax is not going to be a big burden to retirees for sure. In fact, not only do the nine no income tax states as a whole impose an average state and local tax burden that is below the 50 state average, each and every one of the nine states has a state and local tax burden that is also below the average. Governor Justice makes the case that passing legislation to phase out income tax will begin to attract new residents, employers, and investments well before the rate goes to zero. Yep, exactly. Um, could not agree more, uh, but Governor Justice isn't the only state leader calling for the elimination of the state income tax. Mississippi included a proposal to phase out the Magnolia's income tax over 10 years in its 2022 executive budget. Arkansas which borders two no-income tax states in Texas and Tennessee, has proposed and drawn down a state income tax over a number of years, too. So that's good stuff. And this is the one time that uh, when it comes to taxation, I'm a Republican. That's it. When it comes to pretty much everything else, <laughs> I 
Taxation and Second Amendment. I'm proud of the Republicans. Everything else, no. But in this case, this is good stuff, man. West Virginia or bust. All right, we'll see you.